In this short video, I will demonstrate the experience of georeferencing a Revit model within an ArcGIS Pro 3D scene. I get Revit models from all over the world, and I'm often unaware of where these projects should be located. The best workflow is to establish real-world coordinates as part of your regular BIM workflow in Revit. I showed one such workflow in my last blog and video. However, when you don't have access to Revit software, or you are otherwise unable to influence how models are created, you can use the following step to position your Revit data using the georeferencing tools of ArcGIS Pro. I will be using ArcGIS Pro version 2.3 in this video. ArcGIS Pro has the ability to read and use Revit models directly in an ArcGIS Pro scene. However, there is no guarantee that the information in the Revit model has been authored to respect any known coordinate system. Therefore, before I start, I may need to ask the author of the Revit model where the model is supposed to be located. Knowledge of a street address may be enough. It's also important that I have a good idea of what coordinate system should have been used for that geographic area. Revit models are never drawn with the units of latitude and longitude. I will never be using a global coordinate system to define my coordinates. When I georeference a Revit model, I use a local scene. I often need to be able to view underground for subtle adjustments that may be at ground level or below. I select the ground and on the Appearance tab I'll check the Navigate Underground option. To start my georeferencing work, I'll search for and execute the Define Projection tool. This will show me if I already have a coordinate system defined for my data and if not, will give me a chance to select the coordinate system for my data. I can browse to any feature class category from my Revit model. I know the floors category in this Revit model will be a good choice to georeference to my map. The exterior shell is also often a good choice for this task. Because of my geoprocessing settings, the output of this tool adds the layer to my scene. If my Revit model had real-world coordinates already specified in the model, I would have seen my data displayed properly in the scene, and I could have stopped here. But my data is currently displayed in the Pacific Ocean, which by experience tells me that this model has its original coordinates based on a 000 origin. So I will continue. With the floors layer highlighted, I invoke the georeferencing tool on the Manage tab of the Building Context menu in Pro. Next, I'll zoom to my building's location using the Locate tool and type in a street address which just happens to be a new building here on the Esri campus. I now use the Move to Display tool to move the graphic feedback from the floors layer into view. I may not always have all the data I need to make a precise repositioning of my Revit data, but I can get pretty close by using other references like imagery or other map content to correlate with my model. To reset the anchor points for the Move, Rotate, and Elevate to Ground tools, I can use a Control Click sequence to reposition the point I'm using to manipulate the model. I also like to use dynamic zooming by pressing the Z key and then using mouse gestures to zoom and pan and orbit in 3D to get a good view of both my data and the map. I see that this Revit model has already been oriented to true north, so I don't need to rotate it. Once satisfied with the 3D position, I can save the georeferencing session and a 3D world file with the WLD3 extension will be generated on the disk named according to this Revit file. With this data now geo-referenced, I can pull in any other reference to this data and it will be positioned correctly. Here in a global scene, my Revit model is placed correctly, even though the units of the scene are lat long and it's a global coordinate system, because I've properly geo-referenced my model. Now I'll start all over. I'm going to delete the transformation file, the WLV3 file. Now using the location points Revit category instead of the floors category, now I'll add some GIS survey data to my scene that I can use as reference. I will snap the survey point to one of my existing GIS survey points that I know will be an exact match since the Revit survey point is based on this real-world survey point. I snap the two together using the Move tool.
and I save the georeferencing transformation. And now I have an exact location for this data. I can now add the data to this scene or any other scene and it will be georeferenced. Thanks for watching.